Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we're getting back to Martha is Dead. All right, you guys, I am so excited to get back into this game and dive into this freaking mystery. I was thinking a lot about this game, obviously, when I was not playing it, and I was thinking, I feel like this game has a lot more to offer than what I've been giving, you know? Like, the fact that we have so many lenses for the camera has to mean that we're we need to use all of these lenses or because I, I mean maybe we will like throughout the course of the game or maybe there's secrets and like little easter eggs and like little things that i need to find and like achievements that i need to get and um i feel like it's a little bit overwhelming and i don't know if i'm gonna get it all and now i feel like you guys in the comments are gonna yell at me and be like katie you missed this and and i'm a little nervous i'll be honest i'm a little nervous so I've decided. Today, we are calling all the phone numbers. And I know that's not a really big task, but I've been thinking about it, and that list is not very long. I've called like two of the numbers. That's almost halfway there, baby. We're gonna call all the numbers and see what happens. And if nothing happens, it'll be a waste of time. But um, let's get right back into this game. And here we are again with my rotting corpse of a sister. How many days has it been? Four? Who's counting anyway? Guys, look at this freaking Yeti wine tumbler I have. It is my favorite thing in the world right now. So much for me drinking out of plastic water bottles. Like, this is probably the only thing I'm going to drink out of for the rest of my life. Anyway, let us progress. Um, okay, so what did we do? We just read this, uh, this little letter here. What was that? Death certificate? I can't remember. Um... And yeah, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna call a bunch of phone numbers. And then what else did we have to do? All right, so we have the telephone and these are all of the numbers that I can call. Um, so, so far I called the doctor. Did I call the doctor? I called the asylum. Actually, I don't remember if I called the doctor. Sorry guys, I take way too long in between recordings. Anyway, but I also called this number, the 6934 number. Um, which is where we got to choose if we were going to help the partisans or if we were going to tell our dad. Um, so I'm really curious as to what would happen if we actually told our dad. But anyway, and then we got the white lady. Ah, we got to read the diary. That's what we have to do. Um, also find a key into this room. So we got a lot of shit to do today. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I can do in this room. What is this? Can't click on it. Give a little speech. <sighs> no, no thanks. We're good. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Um, let's read the diary, I guess, uh, which is in our bag. Yeah. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. 1. I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods. I know where that there is. There are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. 2. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. 3. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. 4. To communicate with her I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Okay. So, it needs to be in the morning when it's foggy, which would not be right now, right? Right? What does it say? Uh, the lever, my personal object, it has to be foggy, this is essential. So, maybe tomorrow morning is when we would do it. I, I guess. 
Um, it must be foggy to be able to photograph spirits. I need a tripod, which I have, and lenses with the infrared photo. So now we get to use our lenses. Um, to take infrared photos, I need a special infrared film. The tripod that I used to take the self-portrait will be okay. So I do have those. I got tarot cards and I have the scissors. Um, so now we just wait for it to be foggy. And then also I'll need to cut my hair, which I don't know how to trigger that. My mother's tailor scissors. That raven is making a big fuss. Where? The raven. That's another thing? Oh my god. The raven. Why does this raven keep calling? Find the raven. Alright. Uh... Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. Oh, it's right here. Hey bud, where are you going? Oh shit, you want me to follow you? Wait for me! Oh, guys, this just reminds me. Actually, what the fuck is this? What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I was gonna say, this reminds me, we have to cut some, like, wire or something. Am I doing it right now? This seems dangerous. My sister just died. Let's like, try to die too. Hmm, I don't think this is the right pole. <laughs> Great. So apparently we have to climb a pole, so. Should we do that first, or should we follow the raven? Where did, where did he even go? Ugh, let's just follow it, if I can find it. Oh, right there. What's with the spooky music? Is that red cloth? Guys, we gotta figure out what this red cloth is. What the heck? The dress? It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. I knew the mother was up to something. I knew it. I'm telling you, she's I the killer. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. I already suspected that, Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. Wait, hours when I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. I just skipped a full day without doing anything. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Guys, I'm a little worried that I just completely missed out on my side quest time and I just moved the story along. And if that's what happens and I can't end up doing the, uh, the poll side quest, I'm just gonna reload my save. Cause, I don't know. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. Oh. 
What's going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. Shit. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then... She began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back, not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings, feelings I had when I was little. They were scary, they were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha. Your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. Guys, I triggered a new chapter five days after Martha's death. <sighs> Fuck. I don't know if I should reload my save or not because I don't know if I missed my chance to do the Partisan's quest. I, I know this is kind of cheating, but I have to at least check like i just need to like type into google can you still do the partisans quest after ch chapter six or something i don't fucking know something because i'm a little worried <laughs> so what chapter am i on now so it, it i'm not like reading like spoilers or anything it just says if you've missed out on doing lapo's quest you need to start replaying from chapter six onwards okay this still says i can technically do it because it still says, find the telephone pole, cut the wire. I feel like if I couldn't do it, it would be, like, completed or, like, you know, in a different section. Alright, I just got a little nervous. <laughs> um, yeah. Alright, we're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna reload it. Let's just go with it. So, unfortunately, our parents now know that we are liars. <laughs> And that fucking sucks. But, um, it was gonna happen eventually. Like, what, were we gonna be deaf forever? Like, nah. Um, ooh! Also, we could do the tarot cards again. So, we should do that, I guess, before we get going. I don't think it matters what we pick. succeed in the end. I'm oh, yeah. going to enjoy what I deserve. 
but uncertainty and resistance to change are making my life very difficult. Katie's gonna finish the side quest. Katie is gonna succeed. This is gonna be a great playthrough. Everyone's gonna think she's a funny, hilarious comedian. Right? Right. Um... Is that the way towards the house? In the barn? Am I supposed to be going this way? If I just, like, go straight back to the house, will it, um, end this quest? Yeah, let's not do that. Ah, just in Katie fashion, we are 20 minutes into the video and still haven't done anything. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, let's see. So, it said we need to find her lover's grave. What is this? What a beautiful place. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Love it. I can't go through. What do I do here? Hmm. Nothing to click on. Okay, maybe I can't do anything yet. Or ever. I don't know. All right, we are looking for a grave or the white lady. Should I get my camera set up? Uh, with the infrared lenses? <gasps> this has got to be it. Is this it? Why would you bury somebody right here? Hmm. She's not saying anything. I guess that's not it. Walk, girl, walk. Come on. Oh, I'm stuck. I feel like this game has clear paths I need to walk on, so maybe there isn't a lot of exploration. I don't know. Yeah, I can't get down there. This looks right. This... Is this a path? That's a path. And this is a path. Oh, guys! Here's that helmet that I took a picture of last time that I was telling you about. Oh, I can go this way, too. There's so many paths! And down here! Guys, I'm gonna get so fucking lost. I wonder if I can see it on the map. Where's my map? Oh, it's telling me to go to this, I'm guessing. <laughs> it's gotta be it. <gasps> What's this? And there's the lake with the boat. Apparently my map is a little bit more useful than I thought it was. Oh, right here. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? Right, I will so. hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Okay, so you can see right there it says IR, which I guess means infrared. So, let's get our camera out and try to figure out how to change the lenses, because I already forgot. Uh, use... And... Here we are. Let's see, infrared film and lens. Nice. Is that it? Do I need a flash too? Or no? I don't know. It doesn't say anything about flash. It says too distant and out of focus. Oh wait, so these are fine. In focus. I'm still really far away. I should probably have fixed that. Let's get a little closer. Oh, subject framed. Here we go. What do we got? I 
forgot. I can't see what we have because we have to actually develop our photos. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. Now, if I look at my map, I keep pressing the wrong damn button. If I look at my map, just kidding, it won't let me do that. Okay. Maybe I gotta walk away. It won't let me pull out my bag anymore. Develop the photo and check if there's anything unusual. To take infrared photos, I already got that. Look at the map. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I would totally do that. Okay. So I guess let's follow the map. Um, also, I'm a fucking idiot. Look where we just were at the house. And that's where the grave is. <laughs> So I walked around for nothing. <laughs> All right, let's go back. Let us go see. And uh, we have this perfect doorway that's open right here. That's gonna take us into the red room. Oh shit, it's dark. Ooh, it wants me to take a picture in here? It won't let me take out my camera, though. That's creepy. Ooh. I guess we gotta develop them, like, one at a time. Let's do that. What do we got here? More lenses? The yellow filter. If it were to snow, it would be perfect. Is it gonna snow? The green filter. Useful for landscapes. All right. Let's develop this photo. Do you guys see what I see? That a lady. Sitting. Or a dude. I can't tell. Let's see. I will not assume the gender. There's the grave I've been searching for, and the spirit of a prisoner. Just like the white lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Creepy. She's like, not even fascinated that we just took a picture of a fucking ghost, but okay. Alright, now I can take out my bag again. So... There's still a red circle out there. And there's an X marks the spot <laughs> over by like the church, I think. All right. Ugh, every time she opens that door, it creeps me out. All right, we're in the house, but also, Oh, this is so fucking scary. Why did this just get so scary all of a sudden? Um, let's take a picture in here because apparently we can do that. Because this seems odd. We still got the infrared on or I don't know. Shit, I can't see anything. Um, hold on, let me mesh put on the flash real quick. So I can fucking see. Alright, so that is where we want to go. Required add-ons. So it tells me I need the infrared film and no flash. Oh no, I do need flash. Okay. Too distant. This creeps me out. A lot. Ugh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Let's develop this. Because I don't know what the heck that could be.
What is this, a joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? Hold on, my dog is barking. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. So I think um, that wasn't part of our quest line at all. That was literally just something that I found. So maybe those are like scattered all throughout this game. And maybe you guys are yelling, yes, Katie, that's the point of the game. There's things scattered around for you to take pictures of. But I'm an idiot, as we all know. Anyway, I'm going to go up while I still have some time and make those phone calls. Because I talked I talked up a big game about making, taking, making, taking phone calls. I talked up a big game about making some phone calls. And that is what I plan on doing. I guess it's not going to happen right now. <laughs> I don't know why my life is like this. I have no idea. It's just it's just the way that it is, you know? And I just roll with the punches. <laughs> so So I guess we're not going to do that. Um All right. Well, I think what we should do is go to the front of the house where the church thing is. Actually, it's right here and uh, go to where this little X marks the spot area is. So, wait, where's my map? Ah, okay. This way. Oh, it's probably this pole. Let me see if I can climb it. Yeah, all right, this is the pole. We will do our side quest after all. Aren't you guys happy that we're finally progressing? Look at me doing stuff. Climbing stuff. Not making any phone calls, but other things. What do I do now? A German tank. God, that's scary. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location via telegraph. By the cow shed? Okay. Do I get down now? What do I do? Oh. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. Did I have an option? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Guys, I didn't even look. I just... Uh-oh. I might have just screwed everything up. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. <sighs> okay, well, like I said, rolling with the punches. You know, whatever happens, happens. Live in La Vida Loca. Oh man. Okay. What's down here? Wait, let me just look. Guys, there's so much in this fucking game. This map is huge. I came here to fish when I was little. I went with that ever so kind man who worked for my father. Who knows where he is now? Maybe he joined the war too. I wonder if there's anything down here. I don't see anything. Can't walk in the water. Hmm. Oh. What is that? Camera? I got a skin! Look at me! Uh, observe. Rusty. That's beautiful. Let's use it. 
just because. Oh, wow, that's fucking ugly. <laughs> ah, let's use it. I did find it. You know, it's not the best, but she'll do. All right. Now let's go to the, the cow shed, I think. Also, now that I'm up here, I could probably go in the house and make those phone calls, am I right? But that actually might progress the game, so I'm not going to do that, because you never know. Where's the cow shed? Am I lost? Why am I lost? I'm close. It's right down here. Ah, here we are. My little pets with no food or water. Guys. <laughs> I feel myself tearing up a little bit. They're dead. That, that doesn't look good. Fuck. Is there a note? Did so Did someone kill my animals and leave a note? Oh my god. Why isn't she saying anything? <gasps> Why isn't she saying anything? Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, the fence has been destroyed. They tore its throat out. It must have been an animal. But it wasn't, because they left a note. What the fuck, man? Alright, hold on. Let me do what I have to do first. Where? Jesus. Alright, this way... The box is empty. The telegraph would have been installed nearby. The telegraph must be hidden in one of these feed bins. to start every message with the code word. I saw the tank on the road, and the road is near the house. I guess I have to communicate something like that. What? Oh my god. <laughs> the tank on the road near the house? Okay... Is there a tank? Tank. Send at least seven words. So tank on is on one over no tank beside tank road beside the house near house. I need seven words. One, two, three. Why am I just counting four? Okay. <laughs> Tank, road, near, house. Four. Uh, what's a fifth one? Need. Uh. Need help. Is there help? I give up. <laughs> I guess, I maybe I chose the wrong one. Remove the last word, okay. Tank, road, near, house. I need three more words. Okay, how about tank positioned beside the road near house. Over and out. I have to start every message with the code word. Is that not it? Guys, I'm not kidding. I just tried so many different fucking options. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I had to look it up. And I'm really sorry, but I don't think we were going to get there. Um, we definitely weren't going to get there because I looked it up and it's nothing that I would have chosen. I mean, some of them were, like the tank on the road near the house. But apparently I'm supposed to say town on fire tank road near house. Is the town on fire and I just completely missed that part and I'm stupid? Did she say the town was on fire? Town. Where's fire? Oh, town on fire. And then tank road near house. And then over now. I'll add over at the end to make it yeah. clear that I have finished. I thought that's what I did. Over now, over now. Oh, there's literally an option for over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, town on, on fire is one. Okay, whatever. This is it. Short press X to send dot. Press and hold down to send dash. Oh my god. <laughs> At least it tells me what to do. How do I make a space? Is there... Okay. Look at me doing Morse code, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Am I going to have to decipher this? <sighs> Are you finished? I am not going to decrypt this message. No, I'm not. I'm looking. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Okay. Apparently what it says. Guys, I'm really sorry that I'm cheating. This was not going to happen and we all know it. Let's be honest. It says received. Need defensive line map. Leave near building beside river over and out. Need defensive line map. Leave near the building beside the river. Okay. So let me type that in. I'll see you guys in a minute. Beside river. They are asking river. me to find a map of the defensive line. There is one in my father's study. Alrighty, so we gotta go to our dad's study. Guys, I'm so sorry that I cheated. <laughs> I feel so upset, but like, that wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> That, that would have taken me literally two hours, and by the time I was finished, I probably would have ended the video because I would have been so tired from doing all of that. Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's go check this out real quick. Oh my god, not the chickens! Ugh. This is horrible. Nazi fascists at the stake. Why isn't she saying Nazi anything? Nazi fascists oh. at the stake. What? Who could have done this? What did these poor creatures have to do with anything? That is fucked. Oh, well, I guess that's it. All right, let's go. Jeez. This episode is so much darker than the last one. Like, not, I mean, this game is dark, clearly. It's very creepy and gory. Um, but I feel like it still had like a happier tone because it was like brighter, it was beautiful outside. And now everything is so dark and scary. Um, Alright, I definitely should have went the other way, but anyway, we're gonna go right back around and into the house. Let me just look at my map again. Apparently there's something else in the woods here that I need to go check out. 
I still haven't actually finished my objectives. Um, find the correct grave. So I still need to go back there. And then photograph the map. So, all right, let's go into the house. I'm actually going to save it because I'm nervous. Um, and let's go inside the house. Yeah, even the house looks so much darker and scarier today. What is that? Um, compared to how fucking beautiful it was before. Can I get in the house? Can't use that either. And I tried to get in the house before and it wouldn't let me through the basement. So maybe I, I guess I can't do that right now. Hmm. Maybe the game wants me to finish the white lady quest first. All right, we're going back down this way and I just gotta go to the right area. So we're gonna take a little left it's the same graveyard, isn't it? It's literally the same fucking graveyard. Yeah. Photograph the right grave? Um, didn't I not take a picture of this exact graveyard? Oh. If I wear this, it should allow me to make contact with her. With this object, she'll have to hear me, I have no doubt. Jesus. I'm missing the element that connects my world to that of the White Lady. Oh, the lake. Of course. Why didn't I think of it sooner? The dress that I threw in the bushes that cursed day. It's been sitting beside the lake for a few days now, in a world that is both mine and hers. All right, let's go to the lake. I can find it from here. Are we almost there? What is that? You guys see that? Oh, is this where Lapo died? As revenge, the oppressed people grab the slaughterer by the throat. Adolf Hitler, the Italian Communist Party. Revenge for Lapo. His blood is still here. Oh, that's fucked up. That's so sad. My boyfriend died here. Alright. It would be really cool if we could, like, take a picture of this spot. But it's not telling me to. Alright, we are almost there. I see a light or something down there. I guess it's a lamp. Yeah, it's a lamp. And that little bit of red cloth. Where is the uh, the dress though? Is it in the boat? No? I can get in the boat? Without all the necessary elements, there's no point travelling to the island. <gasps> there's an island! That's cool. Alright, um... Where does it say on the map? Oh, it says we're right here. What is in the tree?
Here it is. I hope it works. I thought it was a red dress. Or maybe now I just that have I have everything no I need to communicate with the lady, I can finally go to the island. Ah, oh, we're going to the island. All right, let's do it. Let's get out there, baby. I've only been recording for an hour, but okay. I'm actually driving it. Ten out of ten gameplay, for sure. Ah, the open sea. How I despise it. This little boat is Nanny's husband's pride and joy. He used to take me fishing in it many years ago. I don't understand why Mother never wanted me and Martha to use it. I'm stuck. seems really scary. I'm gonna contact a ghost on this little island, and what if she attacks me? Nope. Don't like that sound. Guys, I'm scared. I'm real scared. Stuck on a branch. This is the tree the lover was hung from, according to the legend. Shit. What do I do? What am I supposed to do? I have no idea. What does it say? I have everything. Look at the map. Oh. I gotta go around here. Sorry, I keep breaking the immersion of this creepy ass game with my dumb ass gameplay. A roll of film. It's the one that I was taking out of the camera just before I discovered Martha's body. It should contain shots from before that moment. Oh, With a God. bit of luck, one of the shots has captured the moment of Martha's murder. I will then finally have an answer. Was it really, Mummy? I will develop it as soon as I can, but now it's time to speak with the White Lady. I will wear her lover's cross to draw her to me. Jesus. It just scared the shit out of me. A lock of my hair to enter into her world. It's a lot of hair. I will use the tarot cards to communicate with her. The first ten will be used like I did with Nanny. 
Once two cards have been chosen, it should begin. You camouflage yourself in the woods to approach me. You blend in with the water to make yourself known. You wish to communicate with me through the energy of symbols. You use my pain to summon me. You are very bold. You call upon me for knowledge that I do not possess. For answers I do not have. I am only a vessel. Like water, like air. A vessel to move and breathe. It worked. Now I need to choose two cards. Here we go. Alrighty. Part of our soul embraces the people we love. It is then torn away from us when these people disappear. The wound is deep and it cannot heal. Faith vacillates. Death causes fear. But the church is a safe place. It is home and mother to its children. Faith is the light. Do not lose it. Finding it again is almost impossible. I lost it in sorrow, and without time, I am lost in the dark. Sorry. I... Wait, why is it showing me the map again? I didn't even click that. What the fuck? Anyway. Let's pick another one. You will no longer be able to tell light from darkness. In sorrow, the difference is so subtle. You are alone, and you will remain alone. Memories are abandoning you. They are your only true companions. Now they take the place of your happy childhood, and they may return to keep you company. You do not have control of yourself. There is a dark figure inside you. The wounds are feeding it. It will do things you do not like. It will use your desires, your guilt, the darkest parts of your conscience. The daughter, the house, the mother. The daughter comes from the mother's house, then makes herself a home and becomes a mother. This cycle is broken. To undo the knot, find the son. He is the original sin reflected on you. The one who gave you the light wishes to take it back. She wants control. Bit by bit, she is crumbling your life. You have to stop her. All right, I'll try.
I can sense that you want to know who did it, but I do not have the answer. You must find it yourself. Do not ever try to enter through the front door if you wish to reach the heart. Your twin sister might have the answer you are looking for. Even after death, we leave traces of ourselves, don't we? Everything is indefinite if you look at the essence of things. <gasps> that was spooky. So she literally said, don't go through the front door. Imagine. I can't actually get in through the front door of our house, but imagine if I do. What'll happen? But that was probably just a metaphor. <laughs> Why am I in the water? Hell no. Guys, no. Oh, I hate this. Can't get out. Ugh, even the sounds of water scare me. I don't like water. What is this? Island in the hanging guy. But who's hanging? Speaking with the white lady confused me even more, but at least now I have this key. Was I just taking a bath with the door open? What the fuck? Just all naked over here? In- taking a bath in the dark? Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna stop it for now. Alright you guys, this episode has been so fucking eerie. And... Like, creeps me out. Not only the fact that everything is dark, foggy, creepy, the animals are dead. Like, everything was just, like, upsetting. It just didn't feel right. I did not make one fucking phone call. <laughs> and, uh, I guess that's the moral of the story. When Katie sets her mind to something, it just doesn't work out. You know, that's the way with, with my life honestly. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.